Hey guys, still there and welcome back. It's Victory at Sea Pacific, episode 10. And in episode 9, in case you missed it, I was able to sink quite a few enemy vessels, especially here near Johnston Island. The enemy just lost 5 aircraft carrier and a bunch of escorting cruisers and destroyers. It did not come without a cost to me, unfortunately, as a couple of air, uh, aircraft carriers were sunk. Of course, already lost the Enterprise due to... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> due to Wake Island, somehow. It seems that, regardless of whether the Enterprise is alive, these Devastator torpedo bombers still have fuel. Anyway, over here I was able to um, first take off or take out one or two carriers, and then the battleships came in and took care of everything else. Now these ships have taken some damage, so I'm sending them back to Midway for further repairs. These battleships over here are going to be a problem. They seem to be trying to chase down the group from Midway, or the group that's heading to Midway, Task Force 20. And I don't really have any assets to chase them down. I do have some units of Pearl. We have Task Force 18, that's the Lexington. We have Task Force 32, that's the Hornet. Let's merge those together. And Task Force 36, coming out of Puget Sound, is another aircraft carrier. So we're going to send that one over here as well. Now, Task Force 18, with two aircraft carriers, might just have the punch needed to take out these battleships. It's not a guarantee, but it's better than nothing. Are these two different classes of aircraft carrier, maybe? Uh, Lexington class, Yorktown class. Yes, they are two different classes of aircraft carrier. Now, the cruiser can do 32.5, and the aircraft carriers can do even more. I think that I've scouted out this place so much so that I'll definitely know if there's anything else out here. So, that means that I can move out with the aircraft carriers, so that's TF-18, and try to intercept these battleships before they get too close. Midway, of its own, also has the capacity to launch aircraft. Uh, can I switch the dive bombers? Yeah. There's some sort of weird bug. The game seems to think that the Dauntless dive bombers are coming out of Johnston Island. But, as far as I can tell, they should be coming out of Midway. So, exactly what is going on here, I have no idea. This is one of those bugs that just keeps on happening. Now, let's see, we have the Boise up here. Um, I'm going to set the Boise up on a patrol. Is that really the most likely patrol? There we go. I could send it all the way over to Wake Island or have a look at, well, seeing to get closer to Japan, but it's just one Atlantic class cruiser, so I'm not very hopeful about its capacities. Uh, oh, hold on, we have Task Forces 29 and 30. That's more destroyers. We can have those merge with Task Force, I think it's 18? Yeah. Yep. Okay, is it? Yep, there we go. Okay, all the DDs, that concludes destroyer leaders and destroyers. I want you guys to be Dog Squadron. I'm not exactly sure why exactly we have an aircraft up here, and whose aircraft that is. Because, as far as I can tell, it is not one of mine. Allow launching of aircraft. Alright, what else do we have? Um, oh, right, the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands are being resupplied. Unfortunately, one of the convoys, that was Convoy Able, managed to run into a bunch of battleships. Only one cargo ship survived. I hope that the other convoy will survive, because that's going to be carrying important fuel so that the ships out here can actually get resupplied. We still have a bunch of Dauntlesses over here, but they don't really need to do anything, so I can swap those around with anything more useful, like a Kingfisher. And hopefully the Kingfisher is going to go off automatic scouting sorties. 
Alright, what else do we have? Uh, task Force 20 is coming in for repairs. 34 is heading down south. Task Force... yeah, that's the Diamondback that I just ordered around. We have 458 war bonds. Let's see what else I would like. We have an aircraft carrier coming out of San Diego. Uh, a couple more cruisers coming out of Mary Island. Puget Sound has another Atlanta and a Pensacola. And Pearl is currently not working on anything. Um, what do I want? How about an Independence class aircraft carrier? Why an Independence? Well, they have a little bit of support aircraft. And I could have them do smaller patrols. So let's build two of the Indies and maybe set up a patrol route around Hawaii. Okay, other ports. Let's keep constructing some more Liberty ships because I seem to be running a little low on supply convoys. Uh, San Diego, I'm not sure if these have any room in their shipyards, but we'll see. Speed time up a little. Where's my task force? TF-18, off you go. The three battleships are still coming. What do we have for direct attack aircraft? I would like to see a bunch of these Avengers. I believe I can build them. That's the Avenger... Where's the bigger aircraft? Oh, actually, never mind. That is the bigger aircraft. Range. Holy fuck. Range 870 nautical miles versus the Devastators, which have a range of th uh, 378. I'll have a couple of these, thank you very much. That is a flight of three of them. Swap all these around. TBFs. Look at that. These are the Devastators. Hold on. Range, 870. Devastator. Yep, that's the difference. That's a severe change. And not just that, but the speed is 111 for these. Versus 239 for the Avengers. So I just need the battleships to be... Closing in. In fact, I might just be able to sink these battleships with the defense forces of Midway itself. That is, if I can launch aircraft, because it says the airfield is still in repair. So I will keep chasing those uh, battleships with my carrier force here. Task Force 18. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, this is the last ship of Convoy Able. Uh, Puget Sound. Really? Now, in case you don't get why I was shouting really. Um, the Boise... This is something that is um, unusual. I already have a Boise. I already had a look at this, and I'm not the only one who's been reporting issues like these. Other people have mentioned that they have ships of similar names. And as you might imagine, that is a little confusing. The devs are aware of it, and they have said they're going to look into it. But, of course, it's going to take a bit of time before that actually gets patched out. So, until then, we are stuck with these naming conventions of ships which have similar names. Alright, I can get another flight for, what, 30 war bonds? I think. What do these cost? Oh, 15! In that case, I'll have two more. And uh, we're going to swap those for the Catalinas. Not that I don't like the Catalinas, but I think that my Avengers give me more options.
See, there's the battleships. Uh, hold on. Avenger, Avenger, another Avenger, another one. Next, next, next. That's seven flights. That's 21 aircraft. I just... Yeah, let's send those out. I hope the range is good enough. Engage the battleships. New supply convoy has been created at Mary Island. Here come the planes. Not 100% on whether those things did damage. I think so. Sort of. Game is again not really giving me a whole lot to go on. Again, it does look like we did some damage to them. Uh, where is Midway? Here, Task Force 20. The Tennessee has been fully repaired. Maryland? Not so much. But here's the thing. I also have dive bombers. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where the dive bombers are going to come out of. Oh shit. We're on low fuel? Yeah, we're on low fuel. Um, aviation fuel, none. Well, that is going to complicate matters, especially air operations. Do we have anything that actually can fly out? Wildcat fighters. Not what I'm hoping for. Dauntless dive bombers. Anything that has fuel? It's clear to go after the battleships. Yeah, I think we're looking at a couple of planes here, these Dauntlesses, that are just somewhere near Johnston Island, but I have no idea where. Ooh! Would you look at that? That's a convoy. It's uh, <laughs> it's two convoys meeting up. One destroyer, no destroyer. Hmm. Opportunity. Unfortunately, I have zero assets over here. So as much as I would like, I am not able to actually go for them. All right, back to Task Force 18. We still have some battleships to hunt down. Is there a supply convoy coming to Midway by any chance? Let's make this a high priority. Uh, cargo ships inbound, 18. Which supply convoys are those? Ah, doesn't really matter. Let's keep creating new supply convoys. Because I think that that could simply be the key to victory. That's another one. Okay, Task Force 18. Please tell me those ships are going to be speeding up their repairs. Otherwise, there won't be a whole lot of them left by the time that those three battleships are done with them. Um, Avengers are low fuel. Low, low. I could send out Wildcats. Low fuel, Wildcat fighters. Hold on, I don't really need my fighters here. Can I swap those for something that can actually go on the offensive? Um, swap them for the fighters. I hope that means that I don't have to refuel those, the new aircraft. Yep, I can send out... Where's the other one? I can send out exactly one flight. Well, one flight's better than nothing. Off you go. New 
supply company. Company. Convoy. My bad. These gentlemen do not have the range. We keep sending out more flights? How? I thought Midway was out of aviation fuel. Task Force 39. That's the Baton Rouge. And you're a Pensacola class. Well, you're also going to get tasked with just going to Hawaii and we'll just combine fleets as they get there. Task Force 38. The Las Vegas and the Rally. I guess the Rally is going to try again because previously the Rally thought it was a perfectly viable idea to just sail Bawon into an enemy aircraft carrier group. Despite my repeated requests to dramatically change its course. Um, we're gonna head out of here with these battleships. Because even if they're damaged, they're still f powerful vessels. Um, I'd rather not lose Midway, but I'm not sure if these battleships are even actually going for Midway. They might. We shall see. Ah! There's the diamond back. The carrier seems to be making good time towards midway. Range 378, range 1000. Uh oh. Did they stop moving? They stopped moving. Why is that? Another moving again? Another stopping again? Okay. Raid Wake Island. Here's 18. 18 is now in range. Alright, Task Force 18, I will let you do the honors. Attack. You can. Pick your own aircraft. Why is Task Force 20 under attack? Oh, never mind. It's not actually under attack. It is just going to attack. Still three battleships. It looks like they're considering going home. Recycling another flight. There we go. These things have taken a severe beating so far. I kept hitting them with dive bombers, torpedo bombers, uh, the odd Catalina here and there, but they just don't seem to care. I'm launching another flight. Let's get those damn battleships. Slow it down a little. Um, oh, the Devastators aren't in range yet. Okay. How much range do you need? Yeah, now you're in range. Task Force 18. Execute strike. Holy fuck, look at that. Dive bombers, torpedo bombers. This is beautiful. Now, I'm not going to control the aircraft. I just want to see how they execute that attack. Uh, where are the battleships? Hello. There. Mutsu, Hyuga, and Yamashiro. They're down there. I'm not attacking or not controlling the aircraft. They're coming in at three and a half clicks altitude. 
dropping down to 3,000 meters, 2,500 meters, 2,000. And now they're doing something else. for... Oh, they already depleted. Okay. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. Devastators, then? Can you confirm torpedoes are away? Well, they have to be. But normally you get an indicator that there are torpedoes in the water. Mm, today is not that day. Why? George Quad. Is the game bugging out again? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, that's for damn sure, but... I'd rather know if we're actually doing damage to these battleships. And I'm not seeing it. It doesn't mean it's not happening, it's just... Confusing. Alright, if I take con manual control of this whole flight, tell them to stay low, tell them to go here. I can sort of see that there's a targeting icon, but I don't exactly know what I'm looking at. Judge it. Oh, 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 oh. Go for the battleship. Judging by the indicator. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Torpedoes in the water. And lots of them. Three, six, two, nine, eleven. Let's sink the Mutsu. Yeah, launching a spotter flight might be a little late. He's going to get hit by four, I think. Oh, you have to be shitting me. You have to be shitting me. Because my planes, my ships, they don't do stuff like that. They don't actually avoid enemy fire like that. But these... These are extremely good at dodging fire. Like, what the hell? I don't like the fact that these battleships are coming straight at me. I don't find that appealing at all. Alright, it looks like we recovered almost all the aircraft. There's a f Why are we launching all the Wildcats? Alright, hit him again. Please. Still three battleships. Uh, do we have a fresh group of torpedo bombers anywhere? Because I think that I do a better job at dropping torpedoes at them. Ah, two battleships. One of them's been sunk. Good. Uh, what do we have? Easy squadron. Let's see if that is, in fact, going to be easy. Mutsu Yamashiro. Speed it up. You are... Easy squad? Easy squad. Alright, easy. Now, I know that a hammer and anvil attack is generally the best way of dealing with these battleships. Or with any attack. I'm just not sure if I can pull that off. I want you to come in from here.
item squadron. There's not going to be a perfect hammer and anvil. But we're going to try and cross drop. Oh, there's another flight of torpedo bombers coming in. Oh, gentlemen, please don't ascend. I sort of need you down here. Item. Get down here. Easy. Where are you at? Hit the battleship. Ah, there's the rest of easy. Item. Hit the battleship. Time to do a cross drop. Looks like it's fighting back with AA. There's two torpedoes. Item should be dropping soon. There's item. And is that the rest of easy? Scratching the aircraft. There's two torpedoes. He's definitely going to eat one. There's the rest of the torps. I don't think he's going to dodge those. Boom. That ended the Mutsu. Just the Yamashiro left. Alright. Scratch one more battleship. Now, with that firepower, or with those war bonds, I would love to get another aircraft carrier. I'll take another Lexington, please. Let's see. Task Force 34. One carrier. Correction, two carriers. And some escorts. Standing by. Task Force 38 with another two cruisers is coming in. Uh, 18 is almost done killing off the battleship. 20 is heading towards Wake Island. And I want to have 18 resupply at Midway. And then go for Johnston. Actually, Johnston might be able to be taken by Task Force 34. Oh, 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 fuck. Are we actually in combat here? Because we are still looking at a battleship. I really shouldn't have approached this close to the enemy. Where is... Holy shit, you're close. Ooh, that's not good. Get these carriers away from here. Uh, call them. The Aurora... Is that the only ship? No. Dog squadron's here. I want you guys to sit this one out. Easy, what's your objective? I believe you're coming home. Correct? Yeah. Okay, Dauntlesses. Dive bombers against a battleship are not the ideal weapon of choice. But at the moment, they're really the only thing that I can throw at them. Hornet, where are you? Here you are. Uh, go for the Yamashiro. Send it. Dog Squadron. Maintain low speed. There's the Dauntless is coming in. Or rather, going in. I think we got it. Yep, enemy fleet destroyed. We got them. Three battleships down for the count. All right, then. We're going for Wake Island. In fact, that gives me a bit of breathing room to get these ships repaired. Get... Get these resupplied? Maybe? And get Task Force 34 to go for Johnston. Uh, scout it out first. I think we're making some progress here, gentlemen. And ladies, if there's any one of any of you watching. If so, um, give me a shout out in the comments. 
I would love to know if we have any uh, ladies in the room. Alright, resupply. I'm not sure if there's any actual new aircraft that we can pick up from Midway. Midway, 58 cargo ships are inbound. Very good. Okay, um, with the situation around these islands more or less under control, I think it's a good idea to be deploying some more scout ships. Could be submarines, could be destroyers, just to get a little bit more intel on what's going on around me. Gato class subs have a speed of 21 knots. Um, what's your your range? 11,000 nautical miles versus the Gridleys, which only have five and a half, 6.3, 5.5, 5 .5. Um, 6.4. How about the Independence? 8.3. How about this? I have two Independence class aircraft carriers rolling off the shipyards at Pearl. If I can make those small patrol groups to maybe hunt down convoys, that could be a really useful way to deploy those carriers. Um, what can I build in nine days? Not even a gr <laughs> not even a gridley. Clemsons for four point nine thousand nautical miles. Yeah, screw it. I'll build just a couple of gatos. Uh, upgrade those to have improved radar, and just get me another one of those. And upgrade. There. Okay, task force eighteen. Hey, the Lexington took some damage. Really. I wasn't expecting that. Fuel, none. Shit. Two convoy ships delivering to Midway. Another two convoy ships delivering to Midway. We are going to continue to need more supply ships. San Diego. Get me another Liberty class. Alright, Task Force 38 is standing by at Pearl Harbor. That's the Baton Rouge, which is a Pensacola class cruiser. What's your range? Range, range, range. Uh, am I overlooking this, or is it just not telling me? Beautiful. Okay. If I were to order a new cruiser from Pearl of the Pensacola class, it would have a range of 10,000 nautical miles. I could have the Baton Rouge link up with those aircraft carriers that are coming out of Pearl soon. That's another two cruisers. Enemy vessels spotted. Oh, really? Oh! Okay. Can we do anything about that? Mm, not at the moment, maybe. But we know they're here. And there is an enemy aircraft... Or, not an enemy, there is a friendly aircraft carrier, Task Force 34, standing by to go after Johnston Atoll. I might as well sink these ships before they're inbound. Are we still scouting out the place, or what? Fuck it, amphibious. Yes. Go. Good. Make it happen. The Diamondback and the Coyote. We're first gonna have to heavily damage John Snattle. And then I'm gonna take it back. Midway. Task Force 18 is being repaired. Looks like it has some fresh aircraft on board, at least on the Lexington. And on the Hornet, that's good. Um, the Maryland is still being repaired. I could... 
No. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. Once the Lexi is fully healed up, we're going to go for Wake Island. Still the two battle groups there. They're at Midway, here at Johnston. We have successfully occupied Johnston Atoll. Excellent work. And now we're going to resupply at it. And repair, because apparently one of the destroyers took a bit of damage. There is absolutely nothing left here. Three torpedoes, a little bit of food, some depth charges and depth bombs, and that is all. Well, that means that we need to resupply this place in a hurry. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough. I feel that today was, well, pretty much bug-free, um, insofar as the battle went. I'd say it went very well. I think managing the dive bombers is uh, perfectly left to the AI, but managing torpedo bombers is something I prefer to do myself, because I'm not sure if the AI is actually dropping those torpedoes and doing it well. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of this series. See you then.